Nyanga ni ya kumbante Iwa katika Iwa katika Nuna iwa katika Jenga ni ya kumbante Damu leno Ni ya kumbante Damu leno Ni ya kunyerete Damu leno Ni ya kumbante Ni ya kumbante Jawa yalla Yalla Yes, please. Oh, okay. So this is the man who constructed the bridge. Between the years 1955 to 1956, oh, oh, the bridge was constructed before Ghana gained independence in 1957. Are you okay with that? Now, uh, this is a suspension bridge. This is something that's suspended. Please. There's no pillar underneath, so this is how the town looks like. There's no pillar underneath. So because of that, when you're on top of it and heavy trucks are passing, and shake out. And on rare occasion, you can see it swinging from one side to another. Are you serious? It swings? On rare occasion. That's how it has been stopped. So you don't have to be afraid when you're on it and heavy trucks are passing. What? Back in this place, construction of the bridge, there was a time up there and down here. But there was a time this river. They use something we call a raft. It's a kind of bamboo they join together and then they stand on it. They paddle it to and fro. That's how people transported themselves across this river before the construction of the bridge. Now, why the name Adam? There was a feeling between this mountain. So in 1955, that was when the governor and his men stood to cut the soap, to start the construction of the bridge from Adome to Atikoku. So the bridge was named after the village, Adome Bridge, before it was later translated to Adome Adome. And the right bridge was Adome Bridge. So that was the original name of the bridge. Well, the former president Ronald Reagan used his plane to pass under the bridge in the year 1979. Ah, Rollins did what? He used his plane to pass under this bridge. The, the name of the aircraft he used is called Air Mackey. He 
it's a, it's a kind of a jet fighter which is smaller in size. And so when there's war, they normally use it to do bombs and other arms and ammunition. So mostly it carries two persons, the pilot and the co-pilot or the ship. at Kumasi Military Museum okay. and then when you get to Akosombo this is how let's the river let's has take, been blocked let's take a look at the picture again yeah, so that is the light this is the Rollins. exact picture of the air marquee that Rollins used to pass under the Adomi bridge so this is the this is how the river was blocked in Akosombo and then they generated the river now when you are moving we make something we call expansion drill. It's a black rubber. This is it. And then it has two purposes. Here that can come out. Okay. Okay. talking about okay. when you are here you are on the land or at the end of the road okay. when you are here you are at the beginning of the bridge okay. in between is the space we call expansion joint it has two purposes number one is to detach the bridge from the ground so whatever happens on the ground like earthquake F-tremor doesn't affect the bridge oh. and vice versa and we have the same thing at the other end now, in between these two expansion joints, it's about 1,096 feet, which is approximately 330 meters long. So that's the length of the bridge. Okay, and back again to the mechanical formation. I that this uh, bridge has been, uh, has been in suspension by the support of the cables you see around. There are 40 in number. We have 20 at your left side and 20 at your left side. So they are the ones that hook the bridge in suspension. So if any weight that comes to this bridge, the weight is equally and evenly distributed to all the 40 cables that you see around. And when there's any disturbances, uh, it goes up to the top bar and the top bar descends down to some big concrete that we have at the down. So this is how the transformation works. So back to the river again. Inside the river we have close to 130 different species of aquatic life, including crocodiles, catfish, one man thousand, tilapia, tilapia and uh, yeah, I love tilapia. <laughs> and to amuse you, someone added Mami Wata, they're all inside this river. <laughs> and on the river we could see some number of islands all around. People are living on some of them, as others are serving as a farmland for those indigents. So people are farming. Yes, people are farming on some of them and they have their houses on others. If you have any questions so far, you can ask me. Oh, yeah. uh, they are for the people living. So how do they find their way into it? Okay, they use boats. They use boats and they use boats. And mostly they are the fishing is uh, fishers. So there are fishing folks around. They all know how to swim and every time. Very soon, we begin to see some of them passing with firewood, with corn and other stuffs uh, from their farms. Okay, so if you don't have any questions, I'm expecting you here. Elom Wonder is my name, and I recommend this book for you. My experience on the Adomi Bridge. It's going to help you so much.
and you enjoy your tour with me a lot one man. Thank okay. you. Thank you very much. Nice you know, nice time with you. Uh Charlie guys, let me check the book out of you, my experience on the other people. So uh, where, where can you find it? Okay, um anytime you visit the bridge you can get copy. Okay, so uh any anytime you pass by, just come closer. You might get the book. Front of the, before you get access to the other books available, so just come or you can contact me on uh, 754 34 84762 or 054 34 84 762 or you visit my page along Wanda. Let's support you, right? Thanks so much. Charlie, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our video. Charlie, cut it. Oh, Charlie, there is no. Time to say goodbye. Bye bye. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'll be, you know, taking around uh, the various story centers. Bye bye. Da